gentlemen, welcome to this press conference from the 17th World Economic Forum on the Middle East and North Africa, here live from the Dead Sea in Jordan. Thank you for joining us here in the room. Thank you for joining us, whether you're watching on our website, television, or a social media platform of your choice. Thank you for tuning in. And uh, a special thank you, of course, uh, to my illustrious guest to my immediate left, uh, the Chief Executive of Afghanistan, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah. Sir, uh, everybody's here and watching to hear from you, not from me. So I'll, without further ado, hand you the floor. Please share with us your views okay. uh, on this meeting and also please share an update on Thank the you. situation of Afghanistan. Uh, Bismillah ar-Rahman uh, rahim Good to be here in World Economic Forum in Dead Sea. This is the first time, uh, first time that it had happened here. I, I had participated. Uh, it, it's a very vibrant uh, scene and uh, good to see the achievements of the host countries and also the countries which are uh, pushing countries and sectors and entities in private sector uh, which are pushing for better lives for the people around the world. As far as Afghanistan is concerned, two main focus this year. Uh, one is the peace process, uh, which is supported by the United States uh, and talks are underway between Taliban representatives in the UN yeah, the U.S., uh, some progress, but still a lot of work needs to be done. Then the, the other side of it is the elections. Uh, it's presidential elections plus provincial council elections uh, in 2019. We are working uh, on both tracks, uh, and uh, 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 we have not conditioned one to the other. Uh, because it's uh, according to the Constitution. This year there has to be presidential elections. The preparations are underway. Uh, I'm one of the candidates. Campaign has not started, as otherwise I would have switched to campaign mode. <laughs> and uh, there are other candidates as well. And we hope that uh, the upcoming elections is better as far as transparency of the elections is concerned. The people of Afghanistan deserve this. Uh, talking about the peace process, one side is the Taliban plus the uh, terrorist organizations like uh, Al-Qaeda and the others, which the Taliban have been supporting. Daesh is also in part of the country, but in a small part of the country. Uh, and uh, so the fight in Afghanistan, the war in Afghanistan is against Daesh, Al-Qaeda plus Taliban. But now Taliban have entered negotiations with the United States. They have not yet to enter negotiations with the Afghans, with the Afghan government and others. Uh, this is the key uh, sort of milestone should this happen. This will be the start of a peace process. Uh, this year, it is uh, already 40 years since the start of the war in Afghanistan. And our people have suffered in many ways. Uh, and, uh, but in the past 18 years, since the start of the, the engagement of the international community, things have changed. Uh, there have been lots of positive changes in the lives of the people, uh, especially in the fields of uh, education, democratic process, human rights, uh, women's rights, uh, freedom of speech, uh, the role of the private sector, very vibrant civil society, uh, altogether, these are things which have changed in Afghanistan and also the role that Afghanistan is playing as a connecting uh, bridge between South Asia and Central Asia. There have been many trade and transit agreements. Uh, infrastructure has been built in order to facilitate uh, connect connectivity uh, in terms of services in the areas of communication. There has been a lot of investment in our natural resources. There isn't, uh, there is some uh, foreign direct investment, but not as much as the potential uh, is there. Thank you, Chief Executive. You touched uh, on what I believe is a very important point. You mentioned education. We heard this very morning from uh, from uh, the King of Jordan, from the UN yeah. Secretary General, the importance of including the young people in these developments. Uh, what would your message be to the young people of Afghanistan? Uh, the younger generation already, they have given us their message. <laughs> yes, uh, and they want peace. 
uh, at the same time they want to enjoy their uh, rights and an environment that they can, uh, they, can they can achieve the potentials that they have. Uh, in many areas, uh, they have shown, they have proven uh, their abilities and capabilities in the field of science, uh, robotic science, mm. uh, in the field of uh, 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 telecommunication, IT, uh, and uh, also they are also they are uh, they are part of the private sector uh, in in the in that in that sector as well, uh, and they are very active also politically. Uh, and uh, social media, in the social media, uh, they keep us uh, accountable as the government. Uh, and uh, sometimes they set the trend for us. Yes. <laughs> uh, and uh, uh, they deserve peaceful life. Hopefully, we will be able to deliver to them. Yes. Thank you. I think many, especially of the young people watching, cannot even imagine a war going on for 40 years. That is a lifetime of war. So it's very, very important, these messages. Um, you also mentioned the private sector. Now, obviously, at this meeting here, uh, there are about 800 uh, roughly CEOs of regional, of international companies. What's your message to them uh, when it comes to Afghanistan as a place to invest? Yes. Uh, while. Uh uh, I describe the situation as a whole, but uh, at the same time, uh, the, we have developed the, uh, uh, an environment or have created enabling environment for the private sector development. Uh, and uh, uh, we do consider uh, private sector uh, as a partner in growth, uh, and they are playing their rightful uh, role. Uh, and uh, increasingly, uh, opportunities uh, uh, door is opened for the private sector in different ways uh, private public private partnerships joint ventures are taking place uh, in uh, to to look at the potentials that Afghanistan presents in terms of uh, natural resources renewable energy uh, uh, a land bridge between uh, between uh, South Asia and Central Asia and West Asia uh, I think it's it's time to look at it seriously in terms of the private sector, uh, and uh, we hope that uh, uh, we will see those uh, potentials uh, developed. Thank you very much. Uh, I know you have a very important meeting coming up. Um, you are actually meeting uh, the King of Jordan. Um, His I'm Majesty, yes. His Majesty, the King of Jordan. I'm not going to ask you what, uh, what you will discuss with him. That's uh, be between you and His Majesty. Um, but... Uh, the World Economic Forum as an international organization, what would, you, what would your homework be to us to, to tell people in the world about Afghanistan? Uh, first of all, about Jordan and uh, the leadership by His Majesty King Abdullah II uh, in, a, in a challenging environment and uh, challenging times, uh, His Majesty has presented a model a model of a model of uh, peaceful coexistence, and also utilizing the maximum potentials which are there in the interest of the people, but not just the people, but the region and uh, beyond that. Uh, I would say, with the one of the themes of today's uh, discussions was this uh, 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 human resources in younger generation. Uh, we saw today. We uh, in listen to the two young uh, Jordanians, which are presenting uh, the face of their country to the world. Uh, we have these examples in our in our in our country. Uh, the country has potentials for investment in natural resources, energy, renewable energy, uh, as well as uh, services. Uh, and uh, also, it is a, it is a, it is a big it is a it has a great potential for tourism when times comes. So it's, uh, it's important that uh, we see the opportunities as they are, though the challenges sometimes might prevent us from looking at it thoroughly, but the opportunities are there. Yes, and at that point, I want to uh, invite everybody who's watching uh, online and watching maybe on YouTube, go and search for the Afghan uh, Women's Orchestra. They were wonderful stars in the, in the annual meeting in Davos two years ago, wonderful ambassadors for this great country. And with that, and mindful of your full schedule, thank you very much, uh, Chief thank Executive. You. Thank you very much uh, for being here in the room, and thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Okay. Thanks.